Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be talking about how I'm going to do the tier list. And before you guys get up in arms, this is not how the actual tier list is going to be. This is not guys like actual tiers or anything like that. This is just like a spreadsheet just to show you guys examples. And also, this is probably my only video today since I pretty much overslept. I went to sleep at like 7 a.m. and woke up around like 4 or 4 40 p.m. So, yeah totally missed my schedule to upload so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry but I also did want to talk about the tier list and how I'm thinking about going about it and getting your guys feedback on how I should go about it uh, I did put up a vote inside of the community tab if anybody wants to go vote on that if you're gonna help or at least try and help as much as you can but here's generally how I'm gonna have it so grades these are all the grades we're going to give the character, you know, we're going to vote on, see how everybody would feel about this character. But I also want you guys to keep in mind that you're going to have to do it from like new perspective too, of a person who can only carry like transcendence or a person who can only carry overlords, then a person who can only carry exalteds. Like try and think of them in like their ideal situations for like new players and old players that are returning and stuff like that not just like from your own perspective of how they are now because affinity can totally change these characters like massively that's also one thing i'm gonna have to think about if we wanted to do it like if we wanted to do it like um infinity or if we want to do it like how the characters are now just so we don't have to change the tier list like completely later and go back through voting so we're probably going to do it like through infinity perspective so the tier list probably won't be fully in like yeah the tier list probably won't be like fully in effect until infinity comes out so that's also one thing but that also gives me time to work on my website to where I will have the whole tier list and everything in a spreadsheet instead of like going and making like a huge document and doing something like that. It's probably easier for me to just work on my website and get it up there. You guys can go there and then just figure it out from there. I'm gonna be doing a complete overhaul of my website to where it has like new things and games I play, shit like that. So that's gonna help out a lot. But back to the tier list. So how I'm going to go about this is for world bosses, I'm going to give you guys a vote on like how they perform in like Cerberus, Golem, and the rest of the bosses. We're going to see how everybody feels like what Kai should be ranked. This is going to be from community pick also. Not myself, because if it's just myself, that would be my opinion. I want the whole community to help, so it gives a better understanding for others as well as myself and the newer players and the older players who are coming in. So if you guys can help me, you know, by explaining why you think that a certain character should be this, this tier inside of this content or this tier inside of that content, that would be perfect. And also, I'll have the damage type, I'll have the roles, I'm probably going to split them all into their own separate roles, if anything, to where I'll have all the rogues in one section, and I'll have all the tanks in one section, you know, sort of like that. I'm also thinking about putting in the new Korean characters, but that probably wouldn't be the best until we actually, like, test them out, test the waters and everything, and see if everybody will get an understanding for it. So I don't want to get like too far ahead. So infinity is definitely going to be where we actually start up and take the tier list seriously. But we're also going to have their PVP and PVE like usefulness, but I'm not sure if I want to split PVP into this like actual settings to like arena league battle or just have them all around. I I would think they would be good in pretty much all situations because none of the rules change for, well, some of the rules change for different battles because League Battle, I'm pretty sure, 
no i think that's a uh, guilt battle actually actually that uh guilt takeover i think that's pretty much what it is you don't have to use your main character and it basically is all characters right am i thinking about this wrong i think i'm thinking about it wrong i think it's league battle that does that but i'm not sure if i should split up the pvps into like uh just have an arena or if i should just put it inside of like this uh that's also something i would need your guys feedback for and i can just go down here with league battle 2 actually i could make the spreadsheet like this to be honest that could actually be quite more simple or something like that and then i can go for like guild takeover and stuff like that but like i said it's still based on pvp all of this will still be pvp related content so i'm not sure of if i would actually want to do that i might not it probably wouldn't make any sense really so yeah we're just gonna hold this as an idea and change it red so next we would have how useful they are in tower uh this one will be pretty damn difficult to like assess for like certain characters for sure so i'm not sure if i'm just gonna put a an a on it because not every person is gonna use the same like tower team and tower doesn't reset like oftenly if it was to reset like every last month that would give everybody a time to like try out different characters and stuff like that but yeah that's sort of a gray area when it comes to like dragon blaze because here's the thing about dragon blaze it depends on what team you put the character in that is why this is so hard to make a tier list for dragon blaze it depends on what team you go in with and you can't just run like one solo character and expect yourself to pass like all the content unless that character is extremely broken <laughs> but yeah tower is going to be our pretty much greatest challenge of trying to figure out of how things are going to go so every character that i ask you guys like you know research or look up or something like that use a little bit tell me how they feel about the character Hopefully you guys will have the character. If you don't have the character and don't want to build it, don't worry about it. Uh, you can always help us out on the next one. But at that point, use the character a little bit, understand it, read it, try and help out. Um, I do also have a Discord to where you guys can give me feedback as well inside of like the Dragon Blaze tab, which is at the bottom where it says games. And you guys should see. Um, uh, let me let me just bring out the discord we have the lists right here so yeah tier list talk room will be where we put in like the information we've gathered on a certain character and stuff like that that's at least our goal for when we actually start uh, all right <laughs> this this is going better than i thought it would but there's also a raid raid is going to be pretty difficult too because you got to think about it who's going to be doing the most damage for like transcendence overlords and stuff like that and plus the reason i said you guys got to think about it through like a pretty much new players type of way is just because both new players are going to have to use what they get because all not all of them are going to have like a full team of exalted like us on like start off or anything they're gonna have to work their way up to where we are that's one reason why i said you guys got to go through like our perspective but the raid you don't really have to worry about that too much because everybody's just gonna carry you everything's just gonna die but if you're aiming for like first place there are some characters that are better than others so that's why Infinity, once that comes out, all these characters are going to be like really useful in all these different contents. So we're going to give like a, a while for like the game to settle in when it comes to like Infinity, you know, let them test the waters and everything for characters. 
and then we're going to go from there. There is also Challenger Dungeon. Challenger Dungeon is going to be pretty easy because you can go in with like different characters, see how they survive, see how much. Well, I would love to see how much damage they do, but Dragon Blaze does give us overall stats for when we finish a stage, which will be lovely. Just saying that would help out a lot. But also there is Guild Loot. Guild Loot will also be nice to have a character sheet of when we finish a stage, you know, that'd be lovely. Just saying. And pretty much it says how well a character, you know, survives, help out with the team, stuff like that. Next, there will be Orc Tower, well, Orc Fortress. Orc Fortress is going to be pretty easy, actually, to like assess. So I, I'm not too worried about you guys getting Orc Fortress down. Uh, Guild Siege actually might be pretty easy to understand but that's generally how we're gonna go about like the tiered list you know seeing just basically putting out how useful a character is and how good they will be uh, seems so titty so tedious I say tedious tedious <laughs> but yeah Hopefully you guys can help me out. It's going to be a long process. And once we catch up to where the game currently is, that's going to be, it's going to be so perfect. But until then, we have a long journey ahead of us. I'll see you guys when Infinity comes out and we'll get serious on the tier list for sure. We're just not sure when the, when Infinity is going to come out yet. That's one thing that I've literally just been sitting here waiting on is for them to announce Infinity because that's going to change the game like majorly. So with that said, that's just pretty much the little basics of what's going to be happening with the tier list of why I was asking. Uh, thank you to Alice and Dragon Spears for helping me actually because when you guys were in my Twitch chat, you guys actually gave me this idea of how I can do the tier list. So I really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. If you guys have any other ideas, leave them down in the comments. And I will read it and give you guys feedback on how I feel about that. And, you know, yeah. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Yo, what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose